CorelDRAW's Find and Replace Docker makes it easy to scour a document to find objects with specific properties, names, or styles. Objects and text can also have various properties replaced, and text strings can also be found and replaced as well. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have this document open with several circles and polygons of different colors, all of which have transparency blended fills. I'll show how to perform a search that will find and select only specific objects. Find and Replace is now in its own Docker. I can find it in the window Dockers menu, or choose Edit Find and Replace, or press Ctrl F. I'll start with the first option, Find Objects, and I want to search by property. The drop down has some commonly used searches, such as overprinted outlines or text with RGB fills. Clicking the folder icon opens the folder where these searches are stored. This searchable list of files can come in handy if the list of saved searches is long. I'll create a custom search. I'll click Add Query. This opens the Find Objects window, in which I can choose the objects and properties I want to find. I can look for object types, such as shapes or text different types of fills or outlines, and special effects. In this example, I'll look for polygons that have a uniform fill. I'll click OK, and my search criteria are now listed in the Docker. I can click the Find Next arrow to scroll through every filled polygon, or click Find All to select them all at once. In my Objects Docker, I can see that all polygons are selected. I can change the properties of them all at once, like giving them a different fill color, and adding outlines. I'll undo and go back to the Find and Replace Docker. To narrow the current search, I'll click Edit Query. To specify what kind of polygon I want to find, I'll click the Polygons object type, click Sides, and set the number to 3 so that only triangles will be found. Other search filters I could use here are Width and Height. I'll check Ellipses as well so that the circles will also be included in the search. I'll also highlight Uniform Color Fill, check the box to search by color, and for color I'll use the eyedropper to pick up the red color. Now when I click Find All, I get just the red triangles and red circles, which can now get outlines. Now say I want to find all yellow triangles. I'll select one, then click From Selection on the docker. When I click Find All, all identical objects, which share all of the same properties, will be found. Searches can be saved. To create a new query, I'll first click Reset, then I'll click Add. I want to find all CMYK fills, so I'll check General Color Model under Fills and check CMYK. To save this search, I'll click the Save icon and name this search CMYK Fills. Now I'll be able to find this search in my dropdown. After running the search, all of the purple objects are selected because the other fills are RGB. I'll use the Properties palette to change the CMYK fill to RGB. In addition to searching by property, I can also search for names or styles. A name search finds objects that are assigned a name, not objects listed by the generic names assigned when created. I'll right-click on this polygon and choose Rename, and call it Purple Triangle. Now when I search for objects with the full name Purple Triangle, the named object will be selected. To demonstrate a search by style, I'll make a change to one of the shapes. With this triangle selected, I'll open the Properties palette and change the transparency to a bitmap pattern. I'll right-click on the triangle and choose Object Style, New Style From, Transparency. I'll name this style Cloud. I can now see this style in my Object Styles palette, and I'll drag it into a few other shapes. Back in Find and Replace, I'll search for this style, and my cloud style objects are selected. I could also search by type, in this case, transparency. Now if I edit the cloud style properties, all cloud objects will be affected. For another style search, I have some text added, with two different character styles. I can search for everything with the Arial Black style, and with those objects now selected, I can apply the other style. 
Note that searches won't select objects that are inside of groups. I have all of the diamond shapes inside a group, and my search is for all polygons. When I click Find All, I have the choice to either break up the groups where polygons are found, or if I click No, to run the search without the grouped objects. Now let's look at replacing objects, and here nothing is grouped. I'll replace objects by color, finding ones with fill that match blue, and replacing with green. Clicking the arrow selects each object found by the search, and I can click Replace to replace colors one by one, or I can click Replace All. Replacing objects by color model or palette is also a good way to make a page-wide change, from say, CMYK fill to RGB, applying this change to all types of fills. I can also replace objects by outline properties or text properties. In this two-page document, I want to replace everything that has Palatino Linotype font. I could also specify weight and size, or leave these blank to find everything with this font. I'll replace with a script font. This works across both paragraph and artistic text, and I can replace one text object at a time, or all at once. Because search and replace works on one page at a time, I'll open the second page and make the same replacement. If I want to change the color of all text with this new font, I'll go back to Find Objects. This time I'll look for artistic and paragraph text with the monotype font. I'll find all and use the eyedropper to replace the color. I'll switch pages and run the same search and change. The last option on this docker is Find and Replace Text. I'll use the Find option to see how many times Acme appears. I have several instances across both pages of this document. I'll click the Replace option, enter the new name of ABC, and replace all. The all caps ABC is used everywhere, even in the website name. So I'll undo and check Match Case. Now capital letters are used where there were capital letters before. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on Find and Replace in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial to try out the steps yourself.